The rising number of infections in Davao City continues to overwhelm its COVID-19 facilities. More cases of workplace transmissions have also been recorded in the city. To give us more details, we have with us Jem Avancena. She's reporting live from Davao City. Jem, good morning. Could you give us the current status of COVID-19 facilities there? Charles, Davao City's temporary treatment and monitoring facilities have already reached full occupancy as the number of COVID-19 cases here in the city continues to climb. The LGU's main COVID-19 facility, which is the Southern Philippines Medical Center, also remains overwhelmed. Davao City's temporary treatment and monitoring facilities have a bed capacity of 2,027. Almost 1,500 beds are already being used by COVID-19 patients in isolation, while the rest are used by other patients in need of quarantine. In her radio program, Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte said the LG is now looking for additional facilities that could be converted into COVID-19 hubs to accommodate the growing number of patients in the city. She also revealed that there are delays in picking up COVID-19 positive patients from their homes, but she assured that the city's telemedicine service is still active and that their doctors are closely monitoring and guiding patients from home as they wait to be picked up. Meanwhile, Davao City's health office confirmed yesterday that more than 400 BPO employees of a call center company here in the city tested positive for COVID-19. Mayor Duterte said the company should be held liable and should face charges before the Labor Department for supposed negligence and for not following health protocols. Davao City also recorded transmissions in workplaces of other 10 BPO companies as well as some establishments like banks, government offices and schools. As of yesterday, active cases of COVID-19 here in the city reached almost 2,500 after 124 new cases were recorded. The LG is now expediting vaccinations as an additional 44,800 Sinovac vaccines for the Davao region arrived this morning in Davao International Airport. Charles, Mayor Sara also mentioned yesterday that the LG already prepared emergency employment assistance for those who are affected by the reimposition of MECQ. The stricter quarantine status here in the city will last until June 20. Charles? Thanks for that, Jem. That was Jem Avancena reporting to us live from Davao City.